So anyways, now I'm going to move on to the prints. Um, and I was a little... I had a tough time um, with prints. So I went to go visit my Transformers guy, Dan Canna. And uh, he, he always has like awesome G1 prints. And he has really good deals too. And my only regret is that I didn't buy more from him. Because he was selling like... Um, like 11 by 17 uh, pic like single pictures of Transformers for like six bucks or you could uh, he had some deal where the ma like you get four for 20 like I totally should have bought four but uh, I ended up buying this one big battle scene um, for 10 bucks and they're like literally I could have spent all my money over there but I didn't and hopefully I can get this in the shot uh, I'll move it back so it's in focus so, I mean, this is just an epic battle scene. You got Megs and Optimus in the center of it all, as always. You got some combiners in there. It looks like Bruticus and Superion. Uh, Star you got the Seekers, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. I see Red Alert down there. Uh, I think Blitzwing's up there. Uh, who else do we got here? Prowl, Jazz. I don't remember... This Autobot, I think he's one of the few, like, triple changers. Oh, sorry, that wasn't even in the frame, but I don't remember this Autobot right here. Uh, or these two guys, they, they're not familiar to me, but... I just thought this was a really awesome battle scene, and of course he has a G1 art style, so... Um, something that I'm really excited about having. I gotta buy a portfolio, though, for these 13 by 19 prints. I still have that Devastator Dinobots battle scene from the last con, and I really gotta get it into something protective before it before it gets ruined. Uh, and then what else did I get here? Um, oh, those uh, Red 10 Comics Tribe guys, they were doing free little mini sketches. And I got this Venom here. Um, I actually, they weren't doing them on site, they actually posted it before the con. And you're supposed to, if the first hundred people that commented, they would do one for you. And I actually said that I wanted Galactus but when I got there they they were like digging through the pile and they couldn't find him and I, you know I wasn't a hundred percent sure who I asked for so I was like oh it might have been Venom or you know I listed a few characters so they found Venom but after the con I went back and you know saw my comment and I did say Galactus so they either missed mine or made it and stopped at Venom and so so basically what I'm getting at is that I stole somebody's somebody's sketch. Um, this is just a little signed card from an artist known J Joe Martino and he also made this speaking of Galactus uh, print right here. I thought this was really cool. This is only five bucks. Um, he had two versions of this the only difference was the background. This is the more realistic kind of space background. But he also had one with the cartoony kind of Kirby background. Um, and he was more of a fan of that. He, uh, I filmed him, but I cut it in this video because he's, he's a lesser known artist. But he, uh, he was talking about how his, his challenge now is to draw a, any Kirby character in 30 minutes or less. So he'll like, he'll sit in front of the TV and just bang out sketches and stuff. So I thought this was a really awesome one. Uh, really happy to have a Galactus in my cover since I've kind of been all over his junk recently. So that was my, my smaller sketches. Then I picked out a couple, a couple big ones. Let me just flip through it. I like that my book's getting full and full now. This is the last print that I ended up getting. It's, uh, I mean, as you can tell, it's Batman and Robin right there. I don't know who the artist is. It was another independent guy. Um, and I'm really bummed out when I bought it. He wasn't there, so I didn't get this signed. So that's, that's kind of a letdown. But I thought this was a really cool print. At the, uh, this is at the end of the con where I was, like, scrambling to, to spend my last money or my last few dollars. This was a $10 print. So that was really cool. Um, and then finally, as I mentioned, I went back to Neil Adams and I was like, you know, dude, I went around, like I have to get one of your prints, even though I dropped $20 for you to write your name on a Captain Planet. 
Um, and he had a lot of great prints, a lot of iconic stuff. He had the Batman 251 with the Joker, which I laughingly thought I could get a copy of the actual book and have him sign it, but uh, then some of you educated me like that was not going to happen. But one that really caught my eye and that I don't have any prints of was this Green Lantern, Green Arrow print right here. And I don't remember, he had two different versions of it. Hold on, let me fix that. He had two different versions of this. He had one that had the, 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 um, the logo from the comic and everything, but I like this one because the artwork was bigger and, you know, they're the focal points. It's not just a, you know, a cover grab. So I thought this was a really awesome cover and, you know, I always have a thing for, like, superheroes for, you know, fighting each other or just not always getting along. So that was really cool to have. I have a Neil Adams print now. I have a Neil Adams signature. My life's pretty much complete. Um, so that was pretty much, that was it for me. Um, I was... I was, when I left the con, I wasn't 100% satisfied because before I bought that Batman and Robert print, which don't get me wrong, I really like having, um, one of the first tables that I saw when I first walked into the con had a really, really cool Space Ghost print. And, you know, how many times do you see Space Ghost prints? Hardly ever. And, um... You know, I saw it, and it was like, for some reason, I didn't buy it then and there. It was only $10. Um, I think I was like, you know, like I said, I just walked in the place. I think at first I wanted to be like, all right, I want to hit up the big names first, see what I can get from them, and then, you know, make my way back. But at the end of the con, when everybody I was with was like just ready to leave, they, uh, you know, I couldn't find the place, and I could have sworn that, he was, you know, he was in Artist Alley, because that would make sense. That's where all the prints were being sold and all the artists were. But uh, I, f I reviewed my footage later on, and I noticed that um, he was actually mixed in with the vendors, and he was an aisle over from Neil Adams. So, so bummed that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't walk away with that. Um, I actually went through my footage to try to find out who was selling it, and I tracked him down through Facebook, and I was like, hey, you know... This is out of the blue, but I was at the con. I really like your Space Ghost print. Are you selling it online? And they were like, you know, sorry, unfortunately, we can't sell licensed characters uh, online, but we'll be at, you know, the next con. The next con they're going to be at is New York, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make this year. Um, but, you know, they said they sold out of it, so maybe by the time I went back, anyways, it would have been gone. But it just goes to show you when you see something, buy it. Don't, don't, don't pussyfoot around. So other than that, I met Red Vitamin Blue. That was a uh, that was a pretty cool thrill, you know. I actually got to finally meet somebody in the community, face to face. Um, we, you know, we don't have a ton of interaction, but I, I it didn't feel awkward to me. I thought we could, you know, easily converse, and it was cool just, you know, seeing what he came away with. Um, he actually had a, a much bigger budget than I did. He, uh, you know, he was there for both days, and he showed me like. A, a, like a panel, like an original paneling of a, a page in a comic that he's, he literally spent my entire budget on. So, um, but yeah, no, it was really cool. Like, it, it's really, it's nice to, to finally meet one of you in person um, and just, you know, kind of break that barrier between us and show that we're not all just people in front of a, a lens. You know, we actually exist in, in the real world. So... That was really cool. Um, hopefully next time, guys, you, some of you make the trip out to Boston or I go out to see some of your cons, which will probably never happen. Um, but, no, yeah, it was really cool, enjoyable, and uh, I had a great time, and I, I can't wait for the next one. They're actually, they already announced the next date for the Comic-Con for Boston. It's, uh, it's going to be in April, which was when it was originally scheduled. So, uh, yeah, it's less than a year away, nine months, done. Oh, it's like I'm already there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I know this ran a lot longer than I thought it would. You know, it didn't really crack jokes, but I just wanted to show you what I got and just show my uh, my just extreme pleasure with the whole event. Uh, got a lot of videos coming at you soon. Um, Going to be doing an unboxing. I haven't done a white people been shopping in a while, so I have, I have tons of stuff to show you. Um, 
books you won't be surprised by, but uh, I've been buying a lot of toys recently, so you toy fans, you know, stick around for that. But um, yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.